Now on Eyewitness News, mosquito concerns ramping up as summer winds down. The mosquitoes carrying both West Nile and Eastern Equine Encephalitis are turning up around our state. Mosquitoes have tested positive for Tripoli in seven Connecticut cities and towns, and that is certainly raising some health worries. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Susan Rapp is here now to explain the concerns. Susan? Denise, this definitely is concerning because Tripoli or Eastern Equine Encephalitis is very rare in this part of the country. It's usually found near the Gulf in Texas. As for West Nile, that is much more common here in Connecticut. As for the symptoms, however, of both of these viruses, it's almost identical. Connecticut health officials are urging people to protect themselves against mosquito bites. The bites can be more than just annoying. They could make you very sick and even be deadly if those mosquitoes are infected with Eastern Equine Encephalitis virus or West Nile. Tripoli is extremely rare in the eastern part of the country. However, mosquitoes have tested positive in Connecticut, and the virus has been found in two horses. It used to be a, what's called a zoonotic infection, meaning it was more prevalent in animals, but now we see it in people. Dr. Alina Filizov is the head of infectious diseases at Middlesex Hospital. She says Triple E infection among people is still very rare. She has treated patients with Triple E and West Nile. The symptoms are almost identical. People usually are confused and have a loss of balance. In some cases, they have trouble breathing. Both viruses can cause swelling of the brain and the brain lining. The only way to confirm the illness is with a spinal tap. There have been four human cases of Tripoli in Massachusetts this year. A woman died earlier this month from the virus. Lori Sylvia was a mother of three. She died at Tufts Medical Center. And what's most concerning is there's not much doctors can do except treat the symptoms because there is no treatment or cure. The treatment is just supportive. So let's say if they can't breathe, we put them on a ventilator. If their blood pressure is low, we're going to give them blood pressure medications. If they have a fever, we give them Tylenol. Doctors say in most cases, healthy people who are infected with the virus do make a full recovery. So what can you do to protect yourself? Well, you can avoid stagnant water. That is where mosquitoes tend to hang out. Also, you should use insect repellent. And if you are out at dusk, that's a popular time for these mosquitoes. You should also try to wear long pants and long sleeve shirts. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right.